Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Lots of craziness going on. And over here, you see just announced Kamala Harris. We extend temporary protected status to over 100,000 settlers from that particular island there in the Caribbean. Going to be very careful about what we're saying here, as this is very, very... Um, tense it, it is a very tense situation over in springfield ohio which is between dayton and columbus uh for those of you that aren't quite familiar uh with this area um this young man here that you're looking at uh lost his life uh, killed on the way to school um y you know what's what's going on is i think in my humble opinion, it's very much intended to have the effect that it's having. As you see over here, American veteran denied Medicaid and forced to pay out of his own pocket while long lines of um, these travelers, settlers, yeah, get in line. And, and actually, um, I saw an article that was showing um, they were getting cards again that had money on them. Um, between 600 and 1600 is what um, this one article was saying uh, of course it's all funded by us when you get down to it and uh, you know this is it's not just obviously Springfield Ohio it's all over it, it's it's Ireland it's the UK it's uh, it's, it's it's the EU it, it's it's all over the US as well um, we saw you know another uh, series of events happening in a Texas town uh, again with a very similar situation ongoing and and weapons being brandished uh, out in the open uh, by these people that are, are not US citizens at this point in time maybe they will be uh, come the first week of November if you know what I mean it's pretty obvious what's going on this this security guard estimates that there's a nine to one ratio of these settlers to Springfield locals waiting in line for their benefits. You know, is this intended to get you upset? I think the answer there is absolutely, absolutely. You know, again, 58,000 people is the size of this town in 2020 uh, and 20,000 or more settlers coming in uh, since that period in time yeah absolutely this this is intended to rile people up and the way of living the culture is so so different what happens when worlds collide well this is what happens it could be very very uh explosive and you know in in this particular other caribbean nation it's normal for people to uh, grab a, a goose or a duck or whatever is available and bring it home and and that is the meal that everybody eats it's not what we do here and this 27 year old woman was arrested by police in in this area for killing a cat you know a neighbor's cat and eating it and the thing was too it wasn't it wasn't thrown on the barbie this felt ooh, exceedingly demonic and you know looking at her initially um cindy got a very strong impression of the fact that this person might be somebody that practices a certain um religion let's just say well yeah i mean i don't want to put down anything but i do think there's a right way and i do think there's a wrong way of doing things and this person um is practicing that wrong way where you would you know quickly accomplish getting yourself lots of very bad karma but for some reason um, she did it anyway and this is usually something we might see and call as demonic possession because she's opening herself up to certain spirits that are of that uh, negative nature and she's allowing them in and then to just completely take her over so it's very very frightening that people even come here and and practice this because uh you know it, I'm just speechless. It's pretty horrible. It is. It is. You know, and I'll give you guys the links. Of of course, it's a very disturbing video, but that's why we're not showing it. Um, as there's many, um, you know, reports of this. Now, this was actually going on in Italy. 
uh, with another traveler again coming in from a different location and the lady's saying you, you don't do that here in fact it's not just over in ohio animal sacrifices on the rise in queens with chickens and pigs being tortured in twisted rituals this is coming from the metro yeah it's it's all over and yes there is absolutely a darkness that is upon the land and this post um joey manari manarino is talking about it, how deep this goes again it's it's a form of sacrifice uh, offered to spirits in in our view there's there's never uh, a time when that's acceptable to us we we do not believe in that type of sacrifice and we do not believe in the act of war which is a blood sacrifice which many people uh, are oblivious to I actually say most of the world doesn't even realize that when they put uniforms on people and send them off to war they are doing the same sort of ritual this is the same sort of blood sacrifice and ritual that the system does and it's being done here in a way that's really disturbing a lot of people yet you know the legal organized act of war is just that it, it's a blood sacrifice to demonic spirits and yet it's sold to us as acts of patriotism and here's kamala in the kitchen now now you know i hope that's not what it looks like no 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 but there are rumors that there is a kamala's haitian grill going up hmm, maybe we'll cook anything yeah crazy crazy times out there but you know you gotta say uh when you look to the way the reptilians are because ultimately yeah this is a reptilian enterprise underway a very very draconian uh system that's in place you know, they, they view us kind of like those uh little critters there going up and down the poles unfortunately they do absolutely and they do get angry with each other when somebody takes you know a little bit more than their share absolutely they do be careful out there guys put out your positive prayers and intentions absolutely have a spiritual practice draw down the light from from source you could just visualize this as a pure white light coming from you know coming from the sky and running through you anchoring you to the earth and sink your roots into the earth because we need to be grounded in these times a spiritual practice which is not necessarily a religious practice is something we need to be really rooted and grounded in and rama agrees mm -hmm. rama says yes please mind body breath source bless and namaste namaste